like, share, and comment to Corner Sports Net. Man, Angel Reese crazy. All that money she paying the rent? All that money? WNBA superstar Angel Reese, who just got to the WNBA. Now, her salary is $74,000 a year. Now, that's where she grows from her first season in the WNBA. It's not a lot of money. She said that her WNBA salary does not even cover rent. I guess not if your rent is $8,000 a month. If you times that by 12, that's $96,000. For one, having a rent, $8,000 a month, you might as well buy yourself a crib. At least you can make some money when you sell your house. $8,000 a month to live in another man's house? Now, she's definitely living above her means. The good thing about this is she's a hustler. She got a Reebok endorsement. She has other endorsements. She just started a podcast, so she got money. She she goes so hard because her bills are crazy. So when you see Angel Reese somewhere dressed up, looking fly, most times she's working. Now, what's going to happen in the future? She's going to get smarter. She's going to handle her business. She'll learn a little something about finance because she don't know nothing about finance. When your rent is $8,000 a month and your NBA salary, your WNBA salary is $74,000 a year. So even though she got other businesses, other endorsements. She got to go hard for her to live decent. So she'll readjust, she'll learn some finance, and she's going to get tired of paying $8,000 a month or $100,000 a year in rent. But right now, like I said, she's young. She's having a good time. She got money coming in. And she probably got some money that's handling all her affairs, which is silly. I said on 50,000 videos, you got to learn some financial literacy. Not when you got to be some financial whiz, just certain things. But I know Angel Reese is good because she got a bunch of endorsements, but it's probably true. If she's making 74000 that's really not covering her rent. And before y'all say, why, well, why is she making that little bit of money when NBA players are making millions of dollars a year? This is probably the first year in the WNBA's history that they made a profit. The NBA used to pay all those ladies' salary. Now, finally, after 20-something years or 30 years, the WNBA is making enough money with it. They're probably self-sufficient. So the salaries will get bigger as she grows, as she gets older. She'll make more money from her WNBA contracts because the league will continue to grow and make more money. So the players will make more money. Yeah, but I'm not worrying about Angel Reese. Like I said, by the time she's 30, she'll be, the, she'll be a totally different person. Totally different person. And she'll be smarter, I think. I hope. Now, in other news, I read that Memphis rapper Glorilla is going to be performing at Jackson State's homecoming. Now, the homecoming runs from October 22nd to November 2nd. She's going to give a cut. Now, there's going to be other artists that's also going to be performing. So they're going to announce that shortly. Now, Glorilla been on the scene for like two years and she's killing it. She's killing it on the rap scene. She got a song out right now that I used on my Instagram reels. See, I used the song like three or four times. It's real catchy. The song is EGIF. It's real catchy. Look, homecoming at the HBCU is totally different than other homecomings. Now, I was fortunate and lucky to experience homecoming at Tennessee State for one year. I had a, gr I had a great time. MC Hammer was the performer, and the show he gave was the best rap show I ever went to. As far as giving a performance, dancing, rapping, you got the women on stage, the show was fire. Homecoming at HBCUs is like a week long. It's nothing like it. Now, I'm not taking shots at PWIs, but it's just a different, a different flavor at an HBCU when it comes to homecoming. That's all.